Hello, Days of Our Lives fans. It is finally Friday. It is June the 7th. Please subscribe. Okay, so Teresa and Brady gave in and had them a little jigginess. They're basking in each other, and they get a knock at the door. And who is it? It's, it's Alex. And, and he says, can I come in? And Teresa says, yes. You know, because that's what she wanted. She comes in. He comes in. There he is. So he turns his back. Brady gets dressed and, you know, goes out because Teresa makes it clear, you know, for him just to go on. Well, uh, oh, yeah, because Alex is wanting to talk to her. That's what he said. So he came in and he told her and she said, so did Kristen dump you? And he said, no. She made me realize that I, I really love you. She said, you do? And he said, yeah, I just want to be with you alone, just me and you. And she's like, oh, but you just kept pushing me away, you know. So they're getting back together. Meanwhile, she's having some kind of mixed feelings. It looks like she really does possibly love Brady, which it doesn't make any sense. Brady comes back to talk to her real quick. And she was asking him, well, you understand, right? And he said, yeah, I understand you used me to get what you need. You know, he is bent. His butt is bent. He is twisted. You can just call him Gumbay, damn it. You know, he walks out, you know, and she cries a little bit because I think she loves him, but she loves the fact that she's going to live a rich life better, stupid ass. So Maggie stops by to check in with Patch and John. They have a little celebratory iced tea or something there, talking about the plan a little bit. Then Maggie goes on and her and Adrian and Sarah and Victoria are all out. They just went to have a girls day at the spa. Maggie had to run on and do some other stuff for the wedding. And Adrian's sitting there listening to Sarah go on about her life. You can tell she's wanting to get in there. And then she finds out she's got Xander's mother's phone number and too afraid to call her. See her eyes popped out? Well, I already knew what was going to come next. And it did. She grabbed that phone out of her hand and called the woman herself. A voicemail came on, and she's trying to leave a voicemail. I felt stupid, and Sarah gets up and grabs it, and I don't blame her. And uh, she does do a little bit better than Adrian was doing. And uh, so, you know, she left her message about coming to the wedding and about her grandchild, and yada, yada, yada. Bonnie, Bonnie just cannot, Bonnie, the Adrian, whoever she is, she just cannot mind her own business. So, um, back at the ranch, the mansion, I should say, Xander is questioning, um, what's his name there? Justin, about why he's okay with Maggie getting married. And he's like, don't talk to me right now. I'm busy. I'm doing something for Maggie real quick. So, uh, you know, Xander just keeps on and on about how much he hates Constantine. You know, I mean, he just would like to bash his head or put him in the ground or anything. You know, and Justin's like, okay, okay, just, just calm down. So Brady comes downstairs and he's his button is, is in a knot because he just got rejected and Xander's like, what did Teresa do? <laughs> it was just too funny. Meanwhile, Constantine has called John and whipped out the old pawn card and said, I have a job for you, pawn. And uh, or, uh, whatever, John's like, what? And he's like, once you take this gun and murder my wife, right after I marry her, anytime after her marry her. Okay, I got it. You want me to take this gun and murder your wife? <clears throat> Back at the mansion, we've got Xander and Constantine going. Constantine is busy telling Xander how his father hated him so much he didn't leave him anything. He didn't leave you nothing, no inheritance. He thought you was trash. You know, he was just going off. You know, uh, Maggie is uh, confronting him about um, some funds being moved around and I just everybody starts confronting him with stuff and and uh, Teresa's over here biting her fingernails you know because she don't want to be exposed and her ass needs to be exposed because she broke Brady's heart uh, I guess he thought they were getting back together look at Alex with his chin all stuck out he's gotten so arrogant since he's got money so uh Teresa comes down with Alex as her date, and they're her and Brady are given, given little slanted looks. So uh, Justin just got a message there that some of these shares and things that Constantine was in control of, that charity that have been moved around, and Maggie was just questioning him about it, and uh, 
Xander just jumped right up, ready to just kick his butt, because he don't like his ass anyway. And, you know, and he's trying to defend himself, because he's saying, Pawn, pawn, do what I said, do what I said. And John whips out the gun and says, what? Shoot your wife. <laughs> and that's how.